Hi again, I just wanted to come on and read Psalm 23 from the Bible. So if you've got your Bible, you can grab your Bible and read along with me. This was a request from a friend, so I hope, I hope she catches this at some point. Um, this is a wonderful psalm to memorize. It doesn't take very long, bit by bit. Write it out, carry it around with you on, on a little card, um, stick it on your fridge. It's a, and it's a great prayer. It's a, it's a great prayer um, for those moments when maybe you don't know what to pray, but you know you want to say something to God. And, and it's very powerful to repeat the promises of Jesus back to him. This is what I've been learning from some of the great pastors online because there are over 7,000 promises in the Bible to us from, from Jesus. So it's very powerful to, to look up. If you're having an issue with anything, something in your life, look, look, at, look it up in the concordance at the back of your Bible this, this one doesn't have one, so I could always Google it, but I've got a, a newer Bible. And look, at, look, look up a verse relating to that, to that situation and find a promise relating to it. And write it out, repeat it, learn it off by heart. And it's something wonderful to repeat in those moments when you find yourself slipping into fear or anxiety over, over that situation. Just keep repeating the promises of God back to him. And he will come through for you. He promises to never forsake us and never leave us. He's always with us, no matter what we do. Our sins were forgiven when he gave himself up on the cross, when he gave his life to us on the cross. And if you want to see about becoming a born-again Christian, it's really simple. Just um, saying a really simple salvation prayer. And that is asking Jesus to come into your heart, come into your life, accepting him as your Lord and Saviour, that accepting that he came, came to earth, gave his life for us on the cross, was buried and rose again and ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father and he will come, he will come again. And find a good Bible, like I keep saying, find a good Bible-based church because community is really, really important. Speak to some mature Christians about any questions you may have and look into becoming water baptised because that would, that would be also really wonderful. Something I haven't done yet, something that's on my, on my must-do, on my must-do list. So, Psalm 23, I'm, I have memorized it, but I'm going to read it out in case I make an error on camera. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So that's a really, really beautiful, beautiful prayer. That Jesus is our shepherd. He wants to be our shepherd. He's looking for his lost flock. And we must become born again to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Being a Christian is fantastic. You must be a born again Christian. And that's something that you choose to do. From your free will. We must become a born-again Christian to enter into the kingdom of heaven. 
and it's it's the story of Nicodemus which is in the book of John and I have read a little bit of this out this is um, John 3 3 and Jesus is speaking to Nicodemus about the need to be born again most assuredly I say to you unless one is born again he cannot see the kingdom of God and Nicodemus questions him about how an old old person an older person someone already born can be born again and he goes on to say Jesus goes on to repeat most assuredly I say to you unless one is born of water and the spirit he cannot enter the kingdom of God so once once we choose to be born again we we, bec we become a member of God's family he created each and every one of us on this planet he, he created the earth for us he, he created the earth for us and with us in mind and we must choose from our own free will to become born again to enter his kingdom so if you have friends family and relatives you might like to discuss this with them because there may be quite a few, quite a number of people under the misconception that because they they do good works they're a member of a church they have a relationship with Jesus to a certain degree of course um, the, the fact I'm the point I'm trying to make it make it that they must they must choose to be born again to have that guarantee to enter into the kingdom of heaven and be and join Jesus there so look it up Google it there's there's many teachings online about it um, and most importantly look it up in your Bible get yourself a Bible and do, do your own research because no matter what anyone tells you this is the authority so even even you know, just check everything through through and by the scripture because this is Jesus word if it's in the Bible it, it, if it aligns with what's in the Bible then you know it's safe teaching so I hope that's been helpful if there's any questions that you have please feel feel free to um, comment and leave those questions I'd be happy to if I don't know the answers I'm I'm happy to look into it for you I'm reasonably new to this path myself coming out of the new age just over a year ago so I'm still going through the hangover probably a bit of a hangover stage from the new age and that being an important part of my own journey is 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 coming out of that uh, coming out of that situation and into into the truth into the truth the truth of Jesus teachings and the Holy Bible okay pretty short one today take care till next time God bless <laughs>